What's up, guys? Steven Dux here. Welcome to the new video lessons of the week. And、uh, today we're gonna talk about some huge market caps and how to exactly trade them and what's the difference between large cap and small cap in a more detailed way.、Um, and we're gonna also talk about some、uh, volume uh, analysis uh, for some tickers that people are really confused about how to differentiate between bounce short and Solid consolidating and becomes not a bad show anymore. So, all right, let's get into、uh, MYSE. On Friday, it traded about 20 million shares, and you can see MYSE never traded that many shares for the past couple months. And when they trade about that many shares, they always finish really weak. They finish red. And as you can see now in the morning, when you see the spike, you can treat it as、uh, a potential bounce short. But when they start consolidating for hours and hours and for the entire day, that, that stop becomes a bounce short. It becomes the stepper pattern, and all those st stepper patterns they can really easily gap up. And because they trade about 20 million shares, all those 1.3, 1.4 area can become a solid support.、Um, then it's really hard to short it down,、uh, even though it has this 70 million resistance in、uh, in the three dollar ish area. So. For me, on Monday, MYC is a potential long instead of potential short, and as long as it can get to the three area, I'm still a little bit long biased because I'm gonna risk that、um, 1.3, 1.4 area、uh, to go potential long instead of potential short.、Um, that is my opinion on MYC. Uh, CRON, uh, people are really confused about. How to build a swing short? Build a swing short. It's really difficult because you can take days and days to build a decent position.、It、can take month for this stock to drop. And you can see the entire area of the resistance in the 12 and 13s. I don't think it's gonna get up there anymore. My expectations probably gonna fade back to a maybe can break this support, go back to seven. The area it just takes time because all that marijuana hype.、Uh, it's gonna be. It's gonna be.、Uh, Go away anytime soon,、uh, especially with the fundamentals that are not really really good.、Uh, TLRY people,、uh, I see people took a decent loss on this one because they're looking to short this overextended gap down. On bigger market caps, all those patterns they don't really work that well because they have larger market cap, and it, it, it's very similar to crowded trades. When the stock when the stock is crowded. All those patterns don't seem to work that often with NIO as well. But on bigger market cap, their resistance and their support works a lot better than small caps.、Uh, on small caps, sometimes you can see、uh, they can cross straight out of your support level, your risk zone. Then you don't even have time to cut your losses because it drops so quick. Now on bigger market cap, especially on NIO on Friday and Thursday, you can see there's a clear support around this nine dollar area. And with with this massive pullback of this large market cap, all those support they always hold. You can set in huge on those type of pattern, and you can make decent twenty to thirty percent gain、uh, of this area. And also、uh, on this thirteen dollar resistance zone,、uh, you had this morning push failed back.、Uh, this thirteen act as a resistance, so it's really hard to go through the resistance because it's really a big market cap. So、uh, you fade all the way back to ten, and I'm looking、uh, for more fade、um, Monday. Probably goes back to eight dollars, eight point five. You trade a massive amount of volume, so there is a whole lot of resistance everywhere.、Um, I don't expect in this one to go over thirteen.、Uh, if it bounces, I will be shorting to bounce. So let's jump into conclusions. With higher market cap, their resistance and support tends to hold really well、um, on the current day. But、uh, small caps, they don't. Sometimes they don't hold that well unless they trade massive amount of volume. Also, huge market cap, they drop really, really slow, and they went up really, really slow. So don't treat it like、uh, day trading. If you want to swing these patterns. You have to be patient. You have to build your position several times in several days. Don't get in too rush into one day. I see people are too rushing、uh, getting to CRO in the tens,、um, in the nine eighties. 
and it went all the way to 11. So breaker positions into parts decides into um, I think that's the best way to do it. I think that will be all for today and thanks for watching the lessons. I hope it's helpful and I will see you guys next time.